I think everyone is different and unique, and that's a good thing. It's not bad. It's kind of the best thing in the world. You don't want to be like everyone else. What's special is the fact that you're different and is the fact that you're unique and that you can bring something to the table. So if anything, embrace that, that thing that you have that no one else does and expand upon it and make it better and tell everyone about it and be confident in it. Because if you're confident and happy and smiling, you will attract confidence, happiness, and laughter. We should all be helping to heal ourselves, helping yeah. to heal each other, helping to heal yeah. our daughters, the next generation, by really celebrating our successes yeah. and not going, oh, I'm showy or, and no, like, I'm confident. I right. want to share this with you. Like, let's cheer each other on. Like, let's champion each other. Let's show examples of what's possible um, for everyone else so that they're inspired uh, and believe it's possible as well for them. You may be watching this right now and you have these incredible ideas and what you think is missing is motivation and that's not true the fact about human beings is that we are not designed to do things that are uncomfortable or scary or difficult our brains are designed to protect us from those things and in order to change in order to build a business you're going to have to do things that are difficult uncertain or scary my love for myself could not be based on other people. We spend time on everything to do with hair and makeup and clothes and on other people, looking at other people, talking to other people. Um, but I felt like I wasn't spending any time actually thinking, who am I? Like, I, I don't know who I am. And I feel like in a relationship, whether it's with yourself or whether it's with somebody else, you have to know yourself, to love yourself. We never get into relationships with people or friendships with people without knowing them. I personally believe that it is our duty as entrepreneurs in this day and age to be the change makers in society. It's not just about building a business anymore. You need to stand for something and contribute to making the world a better place. Because today's consumers demand that brands align with their values and ethics. I want you to never feel like you need to compromise your values to fully realize your dreams. The most important journey I think all of us will go through is the journey in ourselves, to find our truth, to find who we are and what makes us happy. And in our culture, we are told that if we're beautiful, if we're skinny, if we're successful, famous, if we fit in, um, if everyone loves us, that we'll be happy. But that's not entirely true. I almost tricked myself enough that every day I was doing something that was meaningful, that I wasn't addressing how I actually felt. Looking back now, I was at my most miserable because I didn't address how I felt. And now in business and everything I do, I reassess. But I didn't have a growth mindset back then. So now I'm just like, am I enjoying what I'm doing? What is my life's purpose? And am, am I doing that every single day? And I didn't do that back then. There's a time in all of our lives where we want to get ahead, where we have an ambition, where we want to do more, where we want to succeed further. And, and sometimes we hit a wall and we don't know how to get past it. And we realize at the end of it, you know, hopefully you get to the point where you realize the only thing that's stopping you is you and you can break through any barrier. But sometimes th that's a long road, that's a hard journey. I said is that when I graduated from college, Mark Zuckerberg was in elementary school. And the lesson you draw from that, and I really mean this so deeply, do not try to draw a straight line. And you know what really matters here is if you try to plan out your career, anyone who thinks you know exactly what you're gonna do for the next 30 years, here's what I promise for 40 years, it's gonna be boring and you're gonna miss all the good stuff because all the good stuff hasn't been invented yet. Be patient. <laughs> Everything in life will go exactly how it's supposed to go. At times you will feel like an outcast, that you don't fit in, but you will discover that being your own clique will be your strongest attribute. In life, you are gonna face many challenges, many moments of adversity. There are gonna be a lot of successes and some failures too. Those moments are gonna create your character, build your integrity, and they will become your beauty marks. It is said, that girls with dreams become women with vision. May we empower each other to carry out such vision because it isn't enough to simply talk about equality. One must believe in it and it isn't enough to simply believe in it. 
one must work at it. Self-doubt comes at random times. You're not prepared for self-doubt. I'm one of those people who can get motivated very easily. But in the sense of getting motivated very easily, you can be down on yourself and have self-doubt very easily. Not thinking you're great enough, not thinking you're enough. But I was always able to pull from things or pull from people and allow them to bring me back. Wow. I always tell my son that allow the people around you. God has put these people in your life for a reason. So allow your friends, allow me, allow the people you trust around you to bring you back. By far the best investment you can make is in yourself. I mean, that, for example, communication skills. I tell those students that come that they're going to graduate schools and business and they, they're learning all these complicated formulas and all that. If they just learn to communicate better, both in writing and in person, they increase their value at least 50%. They have to be able to get, get forth your ideas. And if you invest in yourself, nobody can take it away from you. One of the most important lessons in life mm -hmm. that you should know is to remember to have an attitude of gratitude, of humility. Understand where the gift comes from. It's not mine. It's been given to me by the grace of God. Use what I have. Use what you have to help others. Mm -hmm. You know, you, on your last day, you can't take it with you. So yes, that is true. But you can leave it here. They'll never see a U-Haul behind a hearse. I feel like my issue growing up with finding self-love was when I was focusing on everybody else's opinion on me. And I say this all the time, but it's really about focusing on your opinion of yourself. It's hard to love yourself when you're always focused on everyone else loving you and what can I do to make this person like me or whatever the case is. Just focus on yourself and that's all that matters. Forgiveness actually, if you really understand it, it has less to do with the other person and more to do with you. Forgiveness invites in love, invites in possibility, invites in prosperity, it invites in new thinking, it invites in creativity. So forgiveness is an expanding emotion. When you forgive, you're opened up for new things. You know, the, the, the biggest influence that she would have or the change that she would make actually would be behind closed doors. You know, nobody would actually know that she had made this change. <laughs> I thought to myself, well, that's empowering. I mean, <laughs> how old fashioned, you know, this idea that behind a great man is a great woman. What about being in front of that person or next to them or standing on your own? If I'm miserable, if I'm upset, if I'm angry, if I'm cranky, it is my responsibility because it's based on what I'm thinking or believing in that moment. It's not the outside world causing me to feel this. It's what I'm doing up here that's making me have that reaction. And if I'm the problem, I am also the solution. As people come into your life, you still have to make a decision every time of like, is this somebody that I want around, you know? And if it's somebody that is a good influence on you and um, is supportive of the life that you want to live, then keep them. But if they're not, if it's not conducive to your journey that you want to be on, there's no need for them to be in your life. So you've got three more years left at college, right? I'm out for Okay, hear me out, okay? I want you to keep in touch with me. Okay. I'll give you my email address because I want to finance those next four years in college personally and help you, okay? Do it for you. And keep that dream alive one day of owning your bakery. And then when your bakery's open, all I want back is a loaf of bread. Not everyone that's hurt you cares. Someone said forgiveness lets you off the hook. Oh. Why would you carry that with you? Because they don't care. If the person doesn't care, why yeah. are you tainting and infecting all the amazing moments that could happen in your life mm. with someone that doesn't care how they hurt you. So how do you figure out how to let that go? And that takes work, it takes work. Oh. yourself full to be first, to be as good as possible to you, to take care of you, to keep you whole and healthy. That doesn't mean that you disregard everything and everyone, but you wanna come with your cup full, you know? My cup runneth over. Yeah. What comes out of the cup is for y'all, what's in the cup is mine. But I gotta keep my cup full. That when you have goals and dreams you want to achieve, he said, ask yourself the question, who should I count on and who should I count out? And so many people never achieve their goals because they have too many toxic, negative, energy draining people in their lives. And you have to have goals outside of your comfort zone that will challenge you because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. It's my belief that boldness 
is a stronger indicator of success than intelligence. Smart people think of all the negative things that will happen when things go wrong. But bold people think of all the good things that will happen when things go right. Oh, 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 oh,